In this video we're going to cover how to start surfacing in LightWave Modeler. First rule is that if nothing is selected directly, then everything is selected. Basic surface assignments are done to polygon selections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some polygons. I need to make sure that I'm in polygon mode. Select some polygons. And then I can click the square bracket key to add connected polygons to my selection. So anything that was connected is now selected. I now want to hit the change surface at either the bottom of the interface or I can hit the keyboard shortcut Q to bring up my surface dialog. Let's give this a name of say body. I will then click on my color swatch to bring up my color selector and let's go for a nice red. Click on OK. I can now set some initial things, some initial things other than color. I can also choose diffuse or specular. Let's give it a little bit of specularity. Turn on smoothing. This make default. If I leave this on, any new polygons that I make will have this instead of default. This also helps remember that this is the current surface that I'm working with. So I click on OK. It changes there. So I can deselect. Now let's select a little bit more. I'm going to select one here, some here, and some here. Again, again, close square bracket and hit Q. And now it remembers body, all of my values, and I click on OK. Let's do a different surface. So I'm going to select this windshield. Again, close square bracket for select connected. Hit Q. And now if I change wind shield, I can choose my color. Let's give it something else. Click on OK. Let's add to our specularity. And there we go. And deselect. Clicking on the surface editor button on the left or the shortcut F5 will open the surface editor. Here you will find all the controls for surfacing. Changes made here in Modeler will however not be fully visible as you will want to refine surfacing in layout where you have the benefit of the full renderer available to you. For more information on surfacing please have a look at the documentation.